Hey stampers, Gina again, and I'm coming back. I have I'm gonna make some cards with you uh, using the new Tasteful Touches stamp set. I haven't got any cards to show you. Um, I'm gonna. I've got the book here, but I can't show you. I, I would love to, but I can't. And I'm gonna just make two cards. I'm gonna make a female one, and I'm gonna make a male one. I've got some punches with me because my dies haven't come yet. So I've got my label me pretty. My label, oh, my everyday label punch, label me lovely, should I say, it's written on the top, and my tailored tag top punch. I've even fetched my little small blooms punch as well, just, just you never know, I've got some twine maybe for the gentleman's card, I've got the corners and slides, I've got some, the suede ribbon, and I've got this combo, even though it's not for this set, but it's white and it's blue, and the DSP is absolutely gorgeous. So let me stand those up so I can get to the DSP for one. <laughs> I'm standing them up the wrong. Oh, am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Yes, upside down. I just thought I normally make a card and we've got one, we've already got them prepped and, and I just simply make one off the bat. So this time, I love this gorgeous, beautiful feather. This. The dies are, which when they come, they are label dies. So they cut labels out. They don't cut any of these shapes out. So this is gonna be fussy cutting if we cut any of these out. And if we do fussy cut, that is. Depends on what we're doing. And we've got this gorgeous um, designer series paper, which is, it's called In Good Taste. And it's, I haven't fetched any inks. So I've got basic gray, early espresso, gray granite, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Rococo Rose, Smoky Slate, Very Vanilla and Whisper White. So I might, I'm even thinking of taking two pieces and replacing under my mat because this is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's take it out actually. Look, and that's on the opposite side. I've shown it, but look at these beautiful papers. Perfect for a male. Love it, that's the opposite love that you know this one in the red in the rococo rose oh my goodness that would look nice under my desk <laughs> that's lovely Ooh. oh is there a black dimension on there look at that what the hell's that got on there ah black dimensionals hidden in my paper <laughs> uh, you've got this one as well this is cute. I love these papers. Not so fussed on the dark browns, but I like the lighter brown. This one. I love this one. It would look perfect under my desk. I like this, but it's too in your face. But this one. <gasps> love that. I love that. And that one. Oh my goodness, I like that as well. That looked nice under my desk. <laughs> Love this. So we're gonna have a look at a few of these. So we're gonna pick and choose. That is absolutely stunning. So pop that to one side. And I haven't even got these that have not been used yet, so let's get some. We have the flower obviously, we're gonna have this uh pattern as well. I'm gonna definitely have the feather. So let's put that on the floor for a minute. So there's the feather. Ooh, love it. We're gonna have a play with this one as well. That's a bit too small. Look <laughs> at the dropsies. That's not too bad. Let's have a hang in a little bit. But, and then let's see. Uh, you are the best. That's a good one to have. I want these little blocks as well. Cute. And the good things in life are better with you. Just saying hello. You are so special. Oh, I like that. That maybe could go in the center of the card. Let's 
line this up as best we can. Perfect. And maybe just saying hello. Is it just to say? I'm end up getting the other one out in a minute as well. So let's get that on a block as well. I can find one. There we go. Just saying hello. There we go. We've got them all out. So need card bases. So one. Two. We've got them. Oops, sorry, I just bumped the mic. So I've got the gorgeous little rhinestones that the lovely Pauline sent me. I've also got the new in colours if we use any of those and we've got some of these holiday rhinestones and I've got some silver and gold ones as well if needs be. So and get some whisper white card out. Hello Mr. Boyce. Uh, it's phone call is Claire. Oh I'm just recording at the moment. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to be joining the body shop as a, so I can sell products online. I love the body shop uh, products. I can sell to people in the UK and I think they're global now. The next month they're going to be selling in the USA. So watch this space. I'm going to, I'm going to be a demo good skin care so right for the mail card let's pick some of this beautiful paper and see let me just check my book now they're all the wood ones which very nice indeed and I'm just gonna grab two inks for two seconds oh. So I've got my grey granite and I've got my Rococo Rose. I always forget something, don't I? <laughs> right, let's pick. Now I've got the Taylor Tag Punch because it reminds me, one of the dies that are coming out, it's very similar but it's wider here, if you know what I mean. And I love a punch, it's quicker, way quicker. So let's pop these to one side for a moment and let's get some paper sorted. So, like I say, the card I'm looking at, it calls for three types of the wood. And I don't want to use that because I might be using that under my desk. So, they're going to go to one side. <laughs> uh, we're going to need a piece of that. I tell you what, I'm not going to do exactly the same as that. I'm going to use maybe three of those. I'm going to punch three of these out. We've had our poor little coochie at the vet today. Massive ear infection, God bless her. Couldn't leave her. And all her throat has swollen up. She looks like she's got gout. The little Boston Terrier. Oh my gosh. She's so sweet. I could not leave her without getting her seen to by our vet. And it looks like she's got a massive ear infection that's made her throat swell. Oh my goodness, she's absolutely gorgeous. Hmm, I quite like that, but is it more male? Let's have some of those. We'll pick... You can tell what card I'm going to do, can't you? I'm going to do one that's joined. So I don't even want to take off what I'm going to use, so... I know they're hanging over the edge at the minute, but you can see what sort of card I'm going to be making. She scratched, she scratched her ear the other day. Bless her little soul. 
and she's deaf so we she doesn't hit she we've never heard her she's never heard herself and when she scratched her ear oh my goodness she yelped oh so we thought she just caught herself with her nail bless her soul but not she didn't bless her I love my pooches so I'm not going to be too precise but I need to know I'm gonna need at least another two rows so that's good so I'm not gonna waste so let's see what else is manly man oh I'm liking a bit of that that look nice on there in between those two so oh god bless she's got to have an ear wash and she's got to have antibiotics bless her little heart I love her so much and if you notice I'm lining it right up on the edge so I've got no waste three of those so I can snip that off do anything for our animals won't we well, I know I would oh bless her so let's just make sure we only need three because sometimes you can need four another one mm, that's quite nice as well isn't it loving that shall we have wood like a carpet effect a tile and should we look for the brick effect oh mind you that's nice as well for a mail card so they go together and those two would go together or even the darker wood so let's punch three of those out as well. So right on the end there. That one there. That one there, I think. I might get away with that. I am going to use a piece of white cardstock and then layer it on top so I can snip off any excess. So with this one hanging over the edge there, I can use the end on that side so I don't need to cut a, another one of those. And because I'm going to move everything down slightly, it'll all fit so ooh, punch went over then Oof. don't want to be knocking them off they're really heavy one two three four and I want a strip of this as well so I'm gonna cut myself a half inch strip Oh yes, perfect. side I'm just going to nick that in there why didn't that come off because my blade comes out there we go let's straighten that off so we're going to have it that way and that way layered on top maybe even flagged oh I love it so I have these little cardboards 
that somebody sent me so I don't have to waste whisper white for when I'm doing layering like this on cards so let's shuffle that away for a minute and let's make sure these are the size I want aren't they? Uh, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths Right, let's put that right along that edge so we know it's perfectly straight. So I'm just going to glue the top half. And what I'm going to do is make sure that point is right on the end and that point is right there so I know that's straight when I look at it and that excess can be trimmed off the next one then will go right next door with a tiny little gap so again just do the top half <coughs> Excuse me. And again, making sure that they're both along the edge with a tiny little gap in between. Perfect. And then we're going to do just half this time. And again. little gap. Perfect. I'm going to trim that off. Perfect. I'm going to leave them just to one side for a bit uh, more and then I'm going to move on to the tile and I'm going to leave a tiny gap tile oh, perfect and that one let's do the centre one first make sure that we got it lined up Making sure you got the same distance there and there. That might be the last one that's a bit out of uh, shape because. Um, I wasn't able to line it up on the end of the card, so perfect. So half again. Not quite half, is it? Tiny little gap. Perfect. to one side for a moment pop the bits on there looking nice and then we're going to transition this color now oh look at that right on the edge lovely perfect Perfect. 
Ooh, loving it. I think this suite with the DSP is going to make some fabulous mail cards because we do struggle. Therapeutic, this is. Let's cut it there. Perfect. Scissors. Pop that to one side. Oh, I quite like that, it's lovely. And then our wood. Hence the reason I've saved some of those bits there. Nice distance in. Because we saved all the little blue bits, they can fill in our corner pieces. So let's get the last piece on. Last half piece, anyway. Spin this around just so I can get the distance in right. bits off. I've done a card like this all with the tailored sweet when that came up. Very similar. And I'm going to glue that on that. Ooh. Oh, should we turn it round? No. No, let's not. Another piece there, and we've got a half piece there. Perfect. So four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, twelve pieces. in front of my light so I can't see and then this half a piece which way did that come off just slide that corner on there Oops, stuck it to my desk Give them a few minutes to go off. I've got that. Love it. Take this off. Oh, again, I can't see. There we go. I just got that little piece off. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So, oh, isn't that pretty? That is cool. 
and we've only got four half pieces left so I mean you could keep them if you wanted to do another card but uh, I'm just going to pop them in the bin for a sec so I'm going to grab some dimensionals and a card base and I'm going to attach that on there looks pretty cool to me pop it on dimensionals yes I've taken my inspiration from the book but with a totally different punch I'm using totally different paper than them and take a bit from here and a bit from there make sure we've got this nicely lined up huh? perfect good spacing I like a card that's quite dimensional as well if you've got foam you could put a whole piece of foam tape on there um, I may get the heat embosser out I might I don't know yet I'm going to pop a little grey granite scrap piece of paper Ooh, just want to see what this is like oh that's not too dark at all so I'm just going to come up this side like that Ooh. it's in my bin swing round then <laughs> I think my cloths need dampening a bit because it's starting it's been so warm in here over these past days oh I like that as well it's covered in shimmer spray that is sweet I'm loving that now we need to grab a label oh where's our strips go there they are So I want to attach, I'm going to pen at the ends actually, where's my little punch? Right there in front of me. Gives me perfect little pennants, I'll save on this one. I'm going to attach that there. And I'm going to chop this one down a little bit more. And have that on there. Try and get this nice and straight now. And we could add it there, or we could, I'm just going to pop it in the middle actually. Nice, I like that. Right, now we are going to, there it is. I'm going to swap that over for a sec. I'm going to I'm going to stamp, you are the best I think. Nice. Just keep your 
cloth out, Peter, until you're finished. <laughs> I think I will. And use my punch again. Oh, just. Let's do it that way, actually. come back with that little square love that grab that on dimensionals as well oh wrong dimensionals Perfect gentleman card. And ooh, where's all my little gems? There they are. Mm, I'm going to use the misty moonlight just to add a couple. one there and I'm going to have one there do we need another one? yeah let's just do one more I bet you're all shouting now, oh, there, there. Now, oh, I'll put it in the back off, look. Oh, heck. Oh, I doesn't want to stick there. No, it's lost its glue already. Flip it out. It's come off. Oh. That's got it. Oh, put them away quick. <laughs> So that's my mail card. I think that is absolutely adorable. What do you reckon, girls? Nice and quick. Wasn't too, you even decorate the inside. That's cute. even got gain as approval on the back <laughs> so that is my mail card right let's uh, pop that in there. let's get rid of that for a minute right now let's pick some of this gorgeous paper and let me have a look through my book mm. quite like that actually love to show you the card I'm not allowed to show you in the book mm. I'm 
quite liking that one there so yes we'll do that one <clears throat> quite liking so that's my mail card let's pop that out of the way maybe you can yakuza in <laughs> yakuza in i'm going to be using rococo rose on this one. <laughs> oh, that was funny so i'm gonna need this we're gonna be doing some uh, fussy cutting as well i'm looking is that the one there sure is oh is it that one Nice further on. There it is. Oh, is it that though? I can't make it out in the book. Oh, I can't make that out. I think it might be, but I think it might be this actually. Yeah, it is. It's this one. You look at it from a different perspective. So I want a piece, and I also want a honeycomb one at the bottom. There, that one as well. So I'm going to cut that piece at. Give myself a quite a small board on this one. Oh, my coffee's gone cold. I haven't got enough desk space, so I'm going to do this at four. By five and three quarters. So I've got a really small border on my card. Like, oh, that is really small, isn't it? I might just take a fraction more up there. And I mean, just a line. Just a line. That's better. So I'm going to glue that. I'm going to glue that down. when it rubs up like that. Don't get wrong, it's a good trimmer but I don't like it when it kills your paper. I can see it. Oh, right. piece of paper for this. You are special. Is that even? Yes, we've got that out somewhere. Have we? Yes, you're so special. So I'm going to trim that off there and use that piece to stamp our sentiment. Perfect as well. Love it. So make sure that's dry. It will be in a second. Perfect. We should get two of those flowers out of there. One inch. And that 
recognize our sentiment. Love it. And then I want about one and a half inches, which is right along this edge here. And I want that by four, because that's the width of our card. Is okay. some linen thread around this. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use this one. It's so cute. I'm going to tie a bow. Dangling off the back of my shelf. Just for that tie it and again. I'm about upside down because then my tails will fall downwards because if I tie it the right way around my tails always want to go up and it's because of the way I tie my laces apparently so look now they're going down my card I want to turn it the right way. My bows are in the right way. I may just have to rein that one in a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. And I'm just going to snip that a little bit less. That is so sweet. Love that. And now we're going to do some flowers. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do them in the grey because I don't want a harsh blackness. So let's see if we can gonna get two out of here. And we've also got the wooden elements as well. Oh, that is so pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, I should have stamped really before I put that piece on. It's 
So watch how I get around that now. Oh, I need green as well. Oh, let me just go and grab my green. I'll be two seconds. Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to use... Oh. So I know I'm fussy cutting them out in a minute. You're not going to see the back. And I'm just going to lay that on there. So right along the edge. didn't it <laughs> well my flowers are going over there so you won't see that turn that around flower going over that section of those two actually one there one there so should have done it before I put that little label down really but there's always a way round things ladies and I am here to show you how now I'm gonna grab my Rococo rose light and dark Colour this beautiful flower in. It's light, isn't it? I'm leaving the tips with white on them. Worry if you go over because you are going to fussy cut out. And I'm actually going to fussy cut with no white lines. dark in a minute. Just repeat that there. I mean you could do it all and then use a white gel pen but
very therapeutic this looks lovely doesn't it and then I'm going to go back in and just some really dark bits and then I'm going to fill the centre in going over the lines bit Pretty, pretty, that looks really nice, doesn't it? I do have a battery, so we're okay for a bit. They don't even, not even exactly the same, which I like. That is absolutely gorgeous. So now, just going to cut those out. Sorry for the quiet, I'm uh, concentrating. So there's one. That, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. seconds <laughs> I can't grip it.
I mean, if I cut them on, just made one little mail card and went, and then come on and did this card and went, it would be too short. I know you like longer videos, girls. It's for the chat. Excuse me. Whoops. Perfect. So, get rid of those. Oh, I still apologise about the sniffles. So I'm going to pop these on dimensionals as well. I'm going to have two on each. Um, I might just glue that down actually. Oh, sorry about the sniffles. So, backing's off. This is going to get tucked under there. And this one. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. Let's get that loop from out of there. That's better. And this one. gonna get looped down there absolutely stunning this is gonna get glued down there so I'm giving you a sneak peek at the inside of the catalog without opening the pages Make sure that's nice and straight. Perfect. Might just pull that down a little bit more. That is absolutely stunning. Now for some modern elements. Two large and one small. Oh, look where they've gone. Oh, sniffles. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, girls. I think you've got a pattern side or you've got a plain side, so we're going to put the glue on our plain side and I'm just going to tuck what are you doing again now just have that on there and the little one is going on there as well Gonna have this one down the bottom. There we go. Is that a bit long? No, I'm not putting that there. I am putting that there. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And now all we need to do attach it to our card. inside. So 
Hi. Ah, uh, two seconds, Abby. I'm just going to get that. Mark off there. And that is so pretty, isn't it? Love that. I'm going to have some. Where are those little elements? Just got some clear ones here. Just adding them like dew drops, and I'm using the clear ones. So what I've got, you can pull the glue out again. So one, two, three. Perfect. Let's just hope I can get them to stick. So they're like little raindrops. And these are tiny ones. They weren't on the other card, but I just thought, oh, we've got to have some embellishment. And I can't get that in there. My battery's just about to go in a sec, so I'm going to just. That's got it. There's that card, there's that card, and my shimmer brush. Just look how pretty that is with those little, little gems on there. Just going to add a bit of Ancastella as you do. Well, I always tend to anyway. version of the two cards. Matt is uh, two seconds. Oops. I dropped something on the floor. Oh. So there we go. There is that one for the females. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. And then there's the gentleman card using the same suite. I hope you like, I hope you give it a go once you're able to buy the sweet and I save myself a piece of white card stuff. There we go, there are my two cards for this evening. I would love a thumbs up in the chair. For some reason it seems really dark in here. It's just I've got so much stuff on my desk, that's what it is. So I'm going to love and leave you all. My premiere starts in five minutes. <laughs> Take care, see you soon.